ماشاءاللہ حافظ قاسم صدی صاحب حضور نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی حضور حضی آیا کی صدی پیش کرنے کی سعادت حاصل کر رہے تھے سبین اکرام جیسا کہ ہم نے اعلان کیا تھا آج کا جو جمعہ ہے جو اس پیچ ہے شہزادہ حضور بہت سلوانہ ہماری مسجد میں آلیڈی تشریف فرما ہے چند ہی رمات میں انشاءاللہ پندار میں آپ تشریف فرما ہوں گے اور حضرت مختار میں شروع ہو جائے گا جیسا آپ کو معلوم ہے ہم سب حضور موسیٰ عظم کے ماننے والے ہیں اور بالواسطہ یا بلا واسطہ ہم سب حضور موسیٰ عظم ہی کی مرید ہیں اور انہی سے ہمیں نسبت ہے اور انشاءاللہ اس نسبت غوثیت کا ہمیں دنیا اور آخرت دونوں جگہ پر فیدہ حاصل ہوگا اس نیت سے ہم یہاں بیٹھے ہیں آپ بھرا اس نیت سے خوشی فرما ہوں حضور غوث اللہ صاحب بلا شبہ جو روحانی نظام حکومت ہے آل حضرت نے لکھا فتح و رضیہ شریف میں بڑی ڈیٹیل کے ساتھ کہ حضور غوث اللہ صاحب رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ اب ابھی بھی آج بھی جو روحانی نظام حکومت ہے اس کے سربراہ آج بھی حضور غوث اللہ صاحب ہی ہیں اور آپ ہی کی غوثیت میں پورا دنیا کا نظام جو روحانی نظام ہے وہ چل رہا ہے تو اللہ جب نشان ہوں اب آمن والکوں نے ہمارے غوث کو ایسے درجات عطا فرمائے ہیں انہی حضور غوث صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی بارگاہ میں منقبت پیش کرنے کے لیے میں مرتبس ہوں حافظ محمد حمزہ قمر صاحب سے کیا تشریف لائیں اور حضور غوث صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی بارگاہ میں منقبت پیش کریں Salaamu alayka ya
اور آج ان کے پیچھے آپ جو ہے نماز جمعہ بھی ادا کریں گے تو یہ آپ کی خوش نصیبی ہے تو یہ سارا انتظام جو ہے یہ کہاں سے ہے بغداد شریف حضور سے نہ وہ سے پا کر دے اللہ تعالیٰ ان کی بارگاہ سے انتظام ہوا ہے تو آپ تمام حضرات کو دل کی اطاق گھرے میں سے مبارکباد پیش کرتے ہیں اپنے دل کے جو ہے الحمدللہ آپ سماعت کریں گے حضور سے دی موشن کا خطاب تو انشاءاللہ آپ محضور ہوں گے اور بعد میں انشاءاللہ والعزیز جو غلاف مبارک ہے جانی مبارک سے وہاں حضور و سطح حضی اللہ و تعالیٰ کی بارگاہ سے چادر مبارک جو لائے گئی ہے اس کی آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے بعد جنادہ کی ہے آج غالبا جنادہ کے بعد پھر انشاءاللہ والعزیز آپ جو ہے وہ اس چادر کی زیارت بھی انشاءاللہ کریں گے تو حضور سے دی موشن بھی آخر میں دعا بھی فرمائیں گے بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وتحنن وتمنن على الحبيب المصطفى طب القلوب ودوائها وعافية الأبدان وشفائها ونور الأبصار وضيائها اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وتحنن وتمنن على الحبيب المصطفى بقدر ذرات التراب والرمل والحصى وجريان الماء والهواء نحمده ونستعين به إلى أن نلقاه وهو راض عنا غير غربان الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي يجمعنا وإياكم في هذا المكان المبارك الطاهر الشريف الذي نتقى الله سبحانه وتعالى فيه أن يجعل تجمعنا هذا تجمعا مباركا مرحوما مرزوقا مخبورا وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا مرحوما إن شاء الله Today in the blessing day for the Muslimin in the Friday, Yom al-Jum'ah, the day of the Friday, all the Muslims, they have to celebrate the day because the Jum'ah day, this is the party for the Muslims. Pharaoh, the Sunnah said, Rasulullah said, you said you have to go in the nice cloth, beautiful cloth, with a good perfume to pray, to have your iman, to have your sohbah, and to have some advisor, they will have for, they will be good for the Muslim benefit, for the future, for his family, for the street, with a friend, with a neighbor, for too many things. And the Friday, and every Jum'ah, from the time of Sayyidina Rasulullah and the Sahaba, they used to read Surah Al-Kahf. If you go now, because there is a technology, there is a TV, radio, they open the TV channel before Jum'ah, everybody reading Surah Al-Kahf. Why there is a blessing? Why we have to read Al-Kahf? What is the blessing of that Surah Al-Kahf? In the Arabic we say Surah Al-Kahf, Ahlul Kahf, the people of the Kahf. In the Kahf, the meaning Muhtasar of that, there is a few people living in there, one city. That city there is a king, the king Iyadullah, he said, I am everything. I will give you life, I will make you to die, I will give you, I will give you a rich, I will make you a poor. So like that, but few people, they say, no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bigger than this. <coughs> so they start on a prayer, maybe three people, or maybe five people, or maybe seven people, they mention the number in the Holy Quran. But king, when they know about these people, they send his soldier to follow them and to kill them. To kill them, but 
these people have run outside the city to find a place to make them safe from the king. On the way, when they are walking, when they are walking, there is a dog. He was in the city. He had seen these people and he liked these people, then he followed these people. Till when these people find a place called the cave, they went there inside, everybody was tired, they said, okay, we will spend today, the night is here. And tomorrow we will keep our supper, traveling. So everybody wants to sleep, even that dog, he wants to sleep. These people, when they sleep, they not sleep one hour or one day or one week or one month or one year. In the Quran, they say maybe 300 years or 305 years. Very long times. And you know, the body after a few hours, they need the water, they need the food, they need the air, they need the hot, they need the cold, they need hot, sun, too many things for the body. Moving, exercise. So who was the responsibility inside that care for these people? Who the responsibility? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He was the responsibility of them. Why? Because they are a salih. It is a very long story, but in the end, these people, when they wake up after 303 years or 5 years, somebody tell or say to the Israel friend, I'm a little bit hungry because yesterday, I was not having enough food. They think yesterday and the time it was more than 305. Look, the time is too long. 20 years were, and if somebody has 20 years, there is no much media, no much TV, no much car in the street, but today everything is long, food, much, much, and more. So what about 300 years? When they say, I am hungry because yesterday I don't have enough food, so, when they went to the city, it was a very long story. But at the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made these people as an ayah. What is the ayah? They say to them, they are a salihin and they give them maqam and the place where an agenda. With the dog. The dog is the animal. And nobody like somebody say to the somebody, are you a dog? Of course you will be angry, but they mention the name of the dog more than five times in the Holy Quran. So now, the question is, okay, they went to the city, so now the question is, okay, we are the human, we have belief, and we know, we pray, we do sadaqat, we do ahad, we do zakah, we fasting, we have to keep good religion, characters, everything. Then in the end, we have to win and to pass in inside a Jannah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promise for the Muslim. So what about that dog? He's an animal and he don't understand what we understand. He don't have brain like the human brain. But why that dog also he went and he's inside a Jannah with Salih. If the answer come direct from the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they say, that dog he become inside of a Jannah because he's following a Salihin. Because he become friendly with a Salihin. So even the Friday, Allah, they want to remember you, if you become friendly with a Salihin, to do suhbah with a Salihin, you will have the maqam and the place, the place with them in the Qiyamah. So this is the reason of Surah Ahl al -Qur. These days also in this month, month, it was before Muharram, now and Safar, and Safar in the end, and it was the Shahadat of Imam Sayyidina al Hussein alayhi salam. Who is the Imam Sayyidina al Hussein alayhi salam? Sayyidina Rasul sallallahu alayhi salam, he said, Hadith, Hussein al Mithi wa ana min al Hussein, ahabb Allah man ahabba Hussein. He said, Hussein is from me, and I am from him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will love the person he loved Imam Hussein. And he said, Hussein musbah al-huda wa safinatul najah. He's the light. He said, he's the light of Noor, and he's the boy. 
the boat of Najat, and in the boat when you are inside the water sinking, the support come to you and they will help you and manage. They help you and take you from the water to that boat, meaning it's Safina to Najat, at Turk and Naji. In the Tirmidhi, Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, مثل أهل بيتي كمثل سفينة نوح من ركبها فقد نجا ومن تركها فقد غرق. Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the Tirmidhi, he said, my family like a boat. Everybody have entered inside that boat, he went. And he left that boat, he singing in the water. Our God, for everybody's here, they will be in the boat of Ali Bayt Rasulullah. Order for all the Muslim, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Without Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, there is no full salah and no complete salah for the Muslim. So whenever you are mashrib or north, north, east, west, still you have to mention salat for Ali Bayt Rasulullah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. The Al-Bayt said, I don't know what I ask you to 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 ask you. Then, one day, Imam Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab, his son Abdullah, he was playing with two Imams, Imam Sayyidina al-Hasan and Sayyidina al-Hussain. During the play, Imam Sayyidina Hassan and Sayyidina Hussain said to the Abdullah son of the Umar al-Khattab, you and your father and your grand and all your family, our servant and khadim for us. Your father, grand, all your family, they are khadim and servant for us. He went to the, his father, Abdullah, son of Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab, and said, Father, when I used to play with Imam al-Hassan and Imam al-Hussein, say to me, I am a khadim, you are a khadim, my grand khadim for them. This is right. Sayyidina Umar al-Khattab, he said to him, they mentioned this to you, he said, yes. Say, okay, take the paper. And write in that paper, you are Abdullah and my father Umar ibn al-Khattab. They are khadim of Imam Sayyidina al-Hassan and Imam Sayyidina al-Hussain. And let them sign it to you. He said, why I will do this? He said, send it. They will help. He said, how will you help? He said, the Qiyamah day, when the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked who are you? He said, I am the khadim of Imam al-Hassan and Imam al-Hussain. This is the believer of the Sahaba of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and second Khalifa, Imam Al-Adil, Sayyidina Umar Ibn Al-Khattab. The maqam of Sayyidina Al-Bayt Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know what is the meaning? Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was in the member of the Sharif, he never left the member, only when the Imam Sayyidina Al-Hassan and Imam Sayyidina Al-Hussain entered inside the mosque, he left the member, he went down. He took the Imam al-Hassan in the right, Imam Sayyidina al-Hussain in the left, and he started his advisor and his khutbah. In his ruk'ah sujood, more than 40 minutes, only because of Imam Sayyidina al-Hussain, he went on the back and in the neck of Sayyidina Rasulullah al-Hussain. So you know what is that meaning of the maqam of Sayyidina Imam al-Hussain alayhi salam, when he used to sit, when he sit in the heads of Sayyid al-Anbiya wa Imam al-Anbiya wa Khatim al-Anbiya, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the place where he used to sit in the leg of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The place where he wanted to play in the bags, which bags of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He used to help. And he said, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the person, man ahabba ahla bayti faqad ahabbani wa man ahabbani faqad ahabbu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa maqal minin. The person, he will love my family, this is my love, and my love, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa for me. At the same time, these days, again, in the way, he was talking by the mobile with a few more people from India. And from Bahrain, they want us to come there and 
because of the time is too short and we have a lot of programs. So they want to try and to find a place we will reach there. Why? Because there is a house for Imam Ahmadullah Khan Barel, Rahmatullah Alayh. And he is a great alim and Imam in the Sunnah Ibn Jama'ah. One day when he used to sit with his student to teach them and to give them a lesson. That time, when he used to sit on the floor, he stand up. Then he sit. Then after five, ten minutes, again he stand up. Then again he sit. He made it more than four to five times. He keep stand up and he sit. So his student, they ask him, Imam Sheikh Saad, there is any problem? There is any wrong? Why you stand up and you sit? Why you stand up and you keep like that? He said, because the door of his room was open and the few children outside was playing. And he said, because I know there is one boy, small boy, maybe age 7 to 18, 9 years, he was playing. He said, I know that boy, he's from Sayyid, belong to the Sadat family. So whenever he passed my door, I keep stand up for him for the respect. He keep himself stand up for the respect because that boy belongs to the same family. And this is the Ahl Sunnah al Jama'ah Imam. And he has spent a lot of work for all the Ummah. And they have that much belief and the Aqidah for Imam Sayyidina al Hussein. Imam Sayyidina al Hussein, when he left from Medina to the Al Kufa, he said, ما جئت بطرا ولكن جئت لإصلاح في جد في أمة جد رسول الله الأمر بالمعروف والنهي عن المنكر. He said I have came for one thing very important that is called الأمر بالمعروف والنهي عن المنكر ولنصرة المظلومين and to help everybody help like مظلومين to help them to guide. But Alhamdulillah, for his maqam, he did not get the seat of the Khilafah in the day, in that day. And in this dunya, he don't have the seat of Khilafah in this dunya. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they say to him, you are seat of the Khilafah in the Akhir. The seat of the Khilafah for them in the Akhir. For whom? For Imam Sayyidina Hussain. نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلنا على نهج آل بيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. And the main time everybody knows today we are here in the blessed place and we are from the far place. The far place from here. But that place, how much is far from here? In the same time, they are near to the heart. Everybody speaking. That the place called Balad al Anbiya wal Awliya wal Salih, the country of the Wali, the country of the Salihin, the country of the Prophet. Balad al Anbiya wal Awliya wal Salihin, Balad Sayyiduna al Qutb al Rabbani wal Haykal al Samadani. سيدنا الغوث الأعظم أبي محمد المحيي الدين عبد القادر الجيلاني الحسني والحسيني آل بيت رسول الله. الإمام الأولياء سيدنا الشيخ عبد القادر الجيلاني. and he said in his قصيدة مقامكم العلا جمعا ولكن مقامي ما زال فمكم علي. he said to the old أولياء all the أولياء they have a place and higher place with مقام. But still my maqam is bigger than you. Why? Because I am Al-Hassani wal Husayni and my Nana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day in the Friday, like these days in the Jum'ah, and Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani, he was in the member giving the speech, and that time it was more than 320 listening, sitting and listening to the advice and announcement. For the Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jalal in Baghdad. Bigger awliya that time, more than 300 well sitting and listening to the advice of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jalal in that time. He said in the Arabi wa qadami hadi ala raqabit kulli waliyullah. In the Urdu he said, Mera qadam tamam awliya ki gardan parka. 
all the way when they heard the announcement of Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Dayan, that time sitting there, they keep his head, his head is down like that. Meaning they are accept, they are accept the order of Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Dayan. But still, there is one way. He was not there, he was not in Baghdad, he was doing really his father. The place for a son. And he was in the jungle alone. But in the same second, he had heard the announcement of Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani. In that time, no light, no, no mobile, no wireless, no nothing. But there is a strong power, it's called wireless between Awliya and as -Salim. That is the wireless, the power of the awliya Allah and the salimah. And Sayyidina Rasulullah said, Akabur al-awliya, awliya, ummati, ummati, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. The biggest awliya in this world, it is awliya of my group. And the Sultan awliya, Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailah. So he listened, and he heard the announcement of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailani, and that way he's is a famous one. He's the leader of a tariq al these days, and he's called Khaja Muhammad Chishti Rahmatullah He heard in the same second. And in the same time, he answered the Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jalan, and he said to him, Ya Gawd, he had called him, and he said, Ya Gawd, your qadamuka laysa ala raqabati, but ala aini wa rasi min qawd. He said, Ya in the Urdu, Ya Gawd, aapka qadam meera gardan nahi hai, meera aapu ka sar paras par hai. He said to him, Ya Gawd, your feet, not in my neck only, but in my eyes and my head from the top. This is the Khaja Mahindu Shishti Rahmatullah Alayhi. And then what happened after that? Again, the Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailani said, Ya Mu'ayyadeen, you are Sultan al-Hindu from my side. You are Sultan. And Alhamdulillah, a lot of people become by the hand of Khaja Muhammadin Chushti Rahmatullah Alayhi, the leader of Tariqa Chushti in the Islam and in the Tasawwuf. At Tasawwuf, the character of the Islam. And Sayyidina Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Umurtu al-Utammamaka, anna ma ba'ibtu al-Utammamaka akma al-Akhlaq. And in the Holy Quran, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala said to the Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wa inna kala ala khulqan azim. You are a very high character. For whom? For Sayyidina Rasulullah And all the Salihin, Awliya and the Muslimin, they have to follow the characters of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the street, in the home, in the family, with everybody. Look, there is very important things. In this life, what is the important things? The character inside your home. The respect and the love for your parents. Father and mother. No father, no mother, there is no son. The Sahabi Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he said, Ya Rasulullah, tell me or teach me something. He made me very near with Allah, Allah near with me. He loved me, protect me, save me. What should I do? He said, first thing you have to do, as salatu ala al fatiha meaning you have to pray in the own time. And second, you have to look after your parents through the rule and third, you have to do a jihad by the kalima of La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. Then Abdullah ibn Mas'udi said, Rasulullah, first we say, I have to pray in the own time, and second, for al-walidin, and third, second, to look after my parents, and third, to do a jihad. He said, yes. Again, Abdullah ibn Mas'udi said, Ya Rasulullah, the meaning is if I look after my parents, it is bigger than the jihad of Allah. He said, yes, if you look after your parents, it is bigger than the jihad. He said, no, no. ولا تقل لهما أفقا ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا ذريفا وقل رب يحمهما كما رب يعني صبيرا So where is the respect these days for the parents if the parents they want to do advise the son This what Sayyidina Rasulullah has said in our teachers and they should be the foundation The awliya Allah and the salihin they have a fellow in the same way of Sayyidina Rasulullah because they receive everything from 
سيدنا الشيخ عبد القادر الجيلاني when he left the place called Gailan to Baghdad in the 18 years old his mother she don't have anything to give him but she, she said my son I have only 80 dinars to give you and I'm scared to lose that money so I will stay in your clothes then you will not lose it and she said to him one thing is more my son please when you will go any country will be far from me. I want you to promise me. What is the promise? Don't be lying. Do not be lying. Don't lie. That's it. This is what I have for you. Okay, mother, inshallah, I will try and I will do my best. He left. He went by the group to the Baghdad. In the middle of the way, he stopped the group, the Qafila, and they steal them. They take all the money, jeweler, everything. At that time, for this thief, there is a leader. That is leader, his name is Muhammad al Elfi. Muhammad al Elfi, beautiful names, but bad word. Beautiful name, Muhammad al Elfi, but bad word. He's stealing the people, evil. So Muhammad al Elfi said to the all the thief, this is all the money and dollar, they said this. But somebody, he said, I went to the someone. When they went to the Shaykh Abdul Qadir, they say, you have money? He said, yes. When they check him, there is no money. Why? Because that money is stitching in his cloth, not in the pocket. So he said, I have checked somebody, you have money? He said, yes. But when I check him, they don't have money. He said, where is he called? He called him. It was Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani. And he immediately he said, son, you have money? He said, yes. He said, okay, show me where is your money. So he opened his cloth and they take money out. Muhammad al Elfi, that thief leader, he becomes surprised. And he said, how do you show me your money? Otherwise, you'll be in the safe way, and you'll go back safe, and nobody will take yours. He said, yes, I know, but I have to tell you, because I have promised my mother I will be not alive. He said, no problem, your mother, she's not here. How do you know? How your mother, she will know if you are a liar or not liar? He said, yes, I know my mother, she is not here, and maybe she don't know I'm a liar, and maybe she will know or she will not know. But remember, there is somebody who is here, and he will know, and he is watching me what I have promised my mother. He said, who is that one? He said, he's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will be the witness in the Qiyamah day what I have promised my mother, and I don't want to break that promise to the my mother. Shaking. Who is the shaking? Muhammad al his body shaking, started crying and said, I have seen a lot of people in my life, but I never seen the person like you who have that power. He take his hand and he said, I want to promise you today, by your hand, I will be the right person. And he retained all the money and the dollar to the people. And he asked all his people, they were thinking with him. They said to them, from today, I will be the right person. I will use the right way to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I will do the ma'am. So are you with me? Are you with me to be a good people? This is a group. They say, boss, when you was a bad person, we are with you. What about when you become good? Of course, we will tell you again. Okay. From that time, Muhammad al elfi from the thief, he become from the way of the salihin and the awliya Allah. And his place near to the Mazar of Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Gailani, and name is Imam Fajama Al Elfi Muhammad Al Elfi. Very near, five minutes, five minutes. But see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him that by the hand of the Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Gailani and the blessing of the mother of Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Gailani, Fatima Al Mulkhair. Messiah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you bark lana, we bark lakum. ولجميع الجماعة الحاضرين وأنيرنا وإياكم طريق الحق حقا ويرزقنا على اتباعه وطريق الباطل باطلا ويجعلنا على اتباعه. Today also uh, we are here it is not by the chance to come to sit to talk. Today we are here by the arrangement. The arrangement from who? From the Sultan Al Awliya Sayyid Nashir Abdul Qadir Al Subhanallah. The person they don't have a chance his son is come. To see him here and to pray for him from the Gurbar of Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalan. This is the whole connection between the Awliya and the Salihin. 
and always we want to be near and near and more. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, وَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرَكُمْ وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ ذِكْرًا كَثِيرًا وَسَبْتَقُوهُ كُفَّةً وَأَصْلًا Mention my name, I will mention your name. Be near with me, I will be near with you. There is a lot of way to follow, to be near with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He said in the Holy Quran, وَبْتَهُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ الْوَسِيلًا There is too many things. Alhamdulillah, we will use and we will choose this way. And today, the dua إِلَى اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَلَىٰ لَعَلَىٰ يَجْعَلَىٰ سَاعَىٰ إِسْتِجَابَةُ الدُّعَىٰ وَآخُرُ دَعْوَانَا إِنَّ الْحَمْدُ اللَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَالصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَىٰ خَاتِمِ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ وَالْمُسْلِمِينَ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله حضرات آر حضرت نے فتح و رضی شریف نے لکھا امام مہدی کی عام مطلب مرتبہ غوثیت حضور غوث العظم کے پاس رہے گا اللہ جل شانہ و عمد و عالمون یہ آپ کو بری درجات اتا فرمائے ہیں اور ہماری صفیان لکھا کوئی شخص بری دنی نہیں سکتا جب تک حضور غوث العظم کے دری اقدس سے فیضی آفتہ نہ ہو تو اس دری اقدس کے شہزادہ اور قرید بردہ جن کے پاس حضور غوث العظم کہ درباری آریہ کی چابی ہے آپ وہاں کے سجد نشین ہیں اشیر سید حاشم الدین القادری المغدادی الگیرانی الحسنی والحسینی ہمارے درمیان یہاں موجود ہیں ان کی حافظ و کمیٹی میں آلہ و سالہ و ملکم کرتا ہوں کہ آپ نے ہمیں اپنی قیمتی ٹائم میں سے کچھ ٹائم رائد فرمایا زیارت کے لیے جو نسبت غوثیت ہے اس میں مزید ترقیہ ہو جائے گی تو حضرت کا بہت شکریہ کہ آپ کو شیف فرما ہوئے اور ان کے ساتھ ساتھ درباری آلیہ کھڑی شریف ازاد کشمیر کے سجاد نشین جنوبی آلیہ امی عبدالفکار علی قادر صاحب آپ بھی یہاں موجود ہیں میں آپ کو بھی ویلکم کرتا ہوں اور سردادہ محمد جنید اختر صاحب سے بزارش ہے کہ آپ حضرت کا شکریہ دارتا ہوں اللہ علیہ وسلم it's a great honor for us, uh, mashallah, today to have uh, the descendants from Hazur Sheikh Alam, Ghonsi Azam, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jinani, to join us here today. It's a great honor for, the, uh, for us to have them. I uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the ability to act upon what they have told us here today, especially for the youngsters to respect your parents and not to lie. Allah ta'ala give us the ability to follow in those footsteps. And I ask Sheikh Sahib to make dua for us, especially in particular for myself on the journey ahead for me, and also for all our Mazis that come here on a daily basis to make dua for them as well, inshallah. And also I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you all on Sunday at half four, we have a gathering in rooms of Allah Hazrat Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. Inshallah, do come. All the talks will be in English, and we'll have the full recitation of so please do come and bring your friends and families as well, inshallah. Jazakallah. Salaam alaikum, as you can see, we are here in the Sunnah and Jumaat, and we are here in the Sunnah and Jumaat, and we are here in the Sunnah and Jumaat. Today, we are here in the Sunnah. اللهم ارحمنا وارحم جميع جماعة الحاضرين في هذا المكان يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارحمنا وارحم جميع المسلمين والمسلمات المؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك عزيز قريب مجيب الدعوات اللهم لا تدع في مجلسنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا عيبا إلا سترته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا فقيرا إلا رزقته اللهم ولا مريضا إلا شافيته اللهم دعونا كما أمرتنا فاستجب لنا كما وعدتنا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا تردنا بعد الدعاء من الخائبين ولا من بابك من المطرودين ولا من رحمتك من اليائسين اللهم تقبل دعانا ببركة الأنبياء والأولياء والصالحين اللهم خاصة وخصوصا ارحم موتانا موت المسلمين يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم ارحم صوفي عبد الله برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم ارزقهم مع الاولياء والانبياء والصالحين 
اللهم وفق دولة باكستان لما تحبه وترضاه يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم من أراد باكستان سوءا اللهم اجعل دائرة السوء تدور عليهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارحم اللهم اجعل كيدهم في نحرهم ونحرهم في كيدهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعل تدميرهم تدميرهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم وفق وصافي جميع أمة المسلمين يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أرهم وإيانا طريق الحق حقا وارزقنا على اتباعه وطريق الباطل باطلا وجندنا على اتباعه اللهم تقبل لنا دعواتنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ببركة الأنبياء والأولياء والصالحين اللهم خاصة وخصوصا سيدنا قطب الرباني والهيكل الصمداني سيدنا الغوث العظم أبي محمد محي الدين عبد القادر الجيلاني وببركة إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين آمين يا رب العالمين آمين We ask you to keep us steadfast on your deen and let us be able to do service of your deen. And if there's any shortcomings from us, Allah, please forgive us and keep us steadfast on your deen and keep us in your shade so that we can continue serving your creation. And Allah, bless everyone that's attended here today. The janazah that we're going to read up for the Qasim, Ya Allah, forgive him of any shortcomings, grant him a place in heaven. And Allah, let us all be able to remember our death. Let us all be able to make preparation for that day so that we can so that we are not ashamed on that day. Rabbi Jalni Mukim Salati Omin Zurgati Rabbana Wakapakalwa Rabbana Firni Wali Wali Deya Wadit Mumini Yoma Yuma Isa Yomadikiya Mabah. Adrati Mahram Abi Yomili Namadi Janala Dra Kringi. موجود ہے 
ہمارے کو جنت کے دوست مقام عطا فرما نواہی دین کو سب نے جمیل عطا فرما یا اللہ پاک کی والدین کے لیے بھائیوں کے لیے سب کے لیے بہت بڑا سنا ہے کہ جوانی جوان بھائی سنیا سے جا رہا ہے یا اللہ پاک سب کو صبر عطا فرما میرے مولا سب کو حوصلہ عطا فرما اللہ علیہ وسلم سب میں دینے والا بھی تو ہے اور پھر سبر دینے والا بھی تو بھی ہے ان سب کو صبر عطا فرما صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آلی و اصحابی